Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome to DIY Art Blast. So today I'm here with another painting. Now I always like to say this is if you wanna paint with me, go grab your canvas, paintbrush, or maybe if you wanna paint with the watercolor, go grab a watercolor paper and some watercolor and let's start painting. Okay, so if you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And if you like this kind of video, make sure you give a big big thumbs up. Okay, so now um I'm using eight by 10 size of canvas uh you can use any size of canvas to be honest and uh, if you want to paint uh, with the on a bigger canvas you can also do that okay so i'm just gonna start now now i'm not gonna explain you right now what i'm painting but it's like a winter scene okay so let's start so for this i'm gonna use these three brushes this is flat brush round small small brush and a uh, round middle brush like this one okay and these are the color i'm using it's white blue this purple looks a little messy but i forgot to shake my bottle and the liquid also come out okay so this is purple yellow black and green okay and make sure you grab a cup of water so first i'm gonna work on my background and for that i'm gonna use my big brush what i'm gonna do is uh, i'm gonna take a little water first and then i'm gonna cover my whole canvas and it's okay if you miss some spots we are doing this so that uh the paint will be so much easier. I mean, it will be so much easier to apply your paint and spread your paint. So I always like to do this part. But you can skip this part when you, if you are using watercolor paper. You don't want to do this. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start taking a little bit of blue. So just a tiny, tiny bit of blue. So when you are painting with the acrylic paint i always like to work with a very small amount of paint because if i feel like it's not too dark i can always take some more paint and make it more darker but if you apply too much you just have to you know wait until it's dry and add more paint on top it's just gonna take a little time so i rather just take a little bit of paint and go as i need more paint okay so let's say i'm gonna add my moon right here Yes, I'm going to add a moon. Okay, so I'm going to add my moon here. You can place it anywhere on top of your canvas, wherever you like. You don't have to follow me, okay? So let's say maybe I'm going to place my moon right here. So I'm just going to make a little circle. Now, this circle doesn't have to be perfect, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and add a little circle here. And I'm just going to make my circle bigger and bigger and apply this paint. You can also go in a circular motion like this. Okay, I'm just going to keep taking a little bit more paint. And this time, I'm also going to take some white. So, a little bit of blue and a little bit of white on the other side of my brush. Now, I'm going to do the same thing around this circle. And I'm just going to keep making my circle bigger and bigger. Now, if you feel like it's hard to go like in a circular motion like this, you can also just work in a smaller area and work your way around like that very slowly. If you are painting on a canvas, you can also paint the sides, the edges if you like. We're going to add some more color. So don't worry how it looks like looks right now because we're going to add a lot of color here. And uh, what we are focusing on right now is to cover our, our whole canvas, okay? So, don't think you have to keep making it darker or lighter as you go out. Just focus on covering your canvas. That's it. That's all I'm doing right now. And I'm a little sick, so my voice is kind of uh, kind of different today, so... Okay, so I'm just going to do the same thing on this corner. 
if you have any question uh, let me know in the comment because I love to get some more idea about if I'm missing anything when I show you this kind of uh, painting or any kind of a project or any kind of a material if you have any question about that I really want to know if I miss any step or you know if uh, if there is something I'm saying and it's hard to understand I can improve that okay so if you feel like if you are painting this way it's hard to do the bottom you can always turn your canvas and repeat all right so i did this part very quickly because i don't want my paint to dry and then it will be hard to blend these colors so i did this part very quickly now what i'm gonna do is uh, i'm gonna add some colors <laughs> obviously so uh, what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add some white white paint first so i'm gonna take a little white and then i'm gonna add the brush strokes like this now i don't want to use too much white i want to use some blue you can also do this part with the small brush if you like okay and i'm gonna do the same thing with the purple so just a little pur purple I know this looks a little bit messier right now, but trust the process. Okay, now this is all I'm going to do. Now we can add more colors if we need later, but this is all I'm going to do for now. Now, if you feel like um, you have too much paint on your brush, you can clean your brush, dry your brush. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start blending this. Okay, so to blend this, I'm just going to go over those paint and do something like this i'm just gonna go over maybe two or three times now i feel like i want to add some more blue here so i'm gonna add a little bit of blue same thing here maybe mostly on the outside of this circle mostly on the edges of my canvas i'm gonna add but that's all i'm gonna do here okay and then i'm gonna do the same thing blend it with the background color i know it's hard to keep the circle it doesn't have to be perfectly circle remember that I'm gonna do the same thing with the little bit of purple, not too much. I really like this purple. You can add more or less, it's up to you. You can maybe add more white if you like, or maybe more blue. Okay, I think I like this. Now what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna add some white over here. So for that, I'm gonna use my middle brush. So I'm talking about this one. It's a round middle brush, white. And then I'm just gonna make a little circle again. Um, so let me show you the other way. I may be the easier way. Uh, now you don't need really this, but you, if you have it, you can do that, okay? I have this kind of sponge what you can do is take some white tap it on side of your plate i'll show you that too and then add it here now if you don't have this kind of sponge you can always uh, take some white and then you know make a little circle and you are good to go but now uh, i'm gonna use my sponge make sure you don't take any water you don't need water for this part okay and i'm just gonna take a little white and going on side of my plate trying to cover my whole sponge okay make sure it's covered perfectly 
Okay, and then I'm just gonna place it right here and press. And I'm just gonna turn. And yeah, that looks good. <laughs> I like it. Okay, so now that's all I'm gonna do. Make sure you clean your sponge. I'm gonna work on the bottom of this area and add some snow. Okay, so for that, I'm gonna use my big brush. Okay, and then just make sure you clean that extra water. All right, so now I'm just gonna take some white paint just on the tip of my brush and now the whole time when I add this paint I'm just gonna dab 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 okay so what I'm gonna do is I wanna add my the ground is gonna be down here so uh, I'm gonna start dabbing like that and create you can also you know draw a line like this one so that it's easier for you to know like where you wanna go and then uh, take a little more paint and start dab dabbing on that area. Now, as I'm dabbing, I'm also turning my brush like this. So that all of your dab doesn't, doesn't look all same. You know, if that makes sense. I also brush it <laughs> why not but I like the dabbing technique more so that you know you can still see some blue and uh, some white if you just uh, cover it like this you're just gonna see white so Okay, I think I like that. Now, if you feel like you covered uh, some more area with the with the white, just take a little bit of blue or the purple and then go over some area to kind of, you know, make it look like it's uh, not all white. But yeah, this is all I'm going to do with this snow. All right, so now I also want to add one more thing. So what I have here, let me explain you. Here's the ground. I know I made it like, you know, a little in a circular way, but I don't really want to do that. So I'm just going to make it a little straight, not too straight. Okay, so here's the ground. I have a little kind of, a, you know, you can say some water on this area. And there is another ground area over here. So I'm just going to take a little more white and kind of, you know, adding... A little white here so again imagine that there is a little water here okay <laughs> and a little bit of white now there is a way to go from here to here so we're gonna add a little kind of look a little bridge okay so I'm just gonna add a little line that looks like this as it has to be perfect but that's all i'm gonna do okay so now let's start adding some fun stuff i'm gonna add some uh trees yes i'm gonna add some trees okay so for that i'm gonna use my middle brush now if you're not comfortable using this big brush you can definitely use your small brush okay all right so now i'm just gonna make sure you don't have too much water and i'm just gonna take some green and now let me show you one tree now if you like to practice a little bit maybe on a piece of paper you can also do that like i practice a light post here you can do that <laughs> okay so um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add a line right here for the tree trunk and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start dabbing. Now, there are so many ways you can add this kind of tree. Okay, but I'm going to do this dabbing one. So, I'm just going to start from tip of my tree. And then I'm just going to keep making like a zigzag line. And here's my tree. 
now I'm gonna do the same thing now some of my trees are taller some of my trees are you know it's mini 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 tiny little trees it's kind of a little far away from here so you're not gonna see perfectly shaped tree here okay so there's nothing perfect in nature we don't need anything perfect here so I'm gonna add tree all the way from here to here now this is gonna take me a little time so I may be fast forward this part Now I have this tree all the way to the edges, so one there and maybe one last here, just a little big one. Okay, so now I have some snow also on my tree, so uh, I'm going to clean my brush and I'm going to add some snow on my trees. Okay, so I clean my brush, dry my brush, and then I'm just going to take a little bit of white, not too much. And I'm just gonna barely like touching my tree and adding a little white on top. It's okay if you miss uh, miss some spot, but you know this has to has to be too perfect. As long as we see a little bit of touch of white, you are good. Now you can also skip the snow on this tree if you like and just add snow on the big tree that we're gonna add now. And at any point if you feel like you apply too much of uh, green, uh, I mean white, you can always add some more green on top, okay? Alright, I think I like this. I'm not gonna go too many times here. All right, so now I wanna before I add my another other trees, I really wanna add a lamp post here. Okay, so for that I'm gonna use my small brush. Okay, so I kind of little practice it on this paper here, but let's practice with some paint on uh on this pad. So make sure you take a little water, and this time I'm just gonna be using black paint. So I'm just gonna take a little black. Now my paint here is thin, so um, if you feel like you are not getting a sharp, sharp line, then what you can do is take a little paint and add maybe a couple drops of water in your paint. If you do this way, you will get some sharp, sharp line. And this is what I'm going to use actually. Okay, so let's add the line right here. I know it's not straight, it doesn't have to be straight, okay? And now, I'm just gonna add, scratch this, scratch this, I don't like this. I'm gonna start over, okay? So, that's why I said earlier, practice a little bit on your on a piece of paper. And then, uh, see how you like it, okay? So, first I'm gonna add the line. Okay, and then I'm just gonna add a line, maybe right here. Okay, and then I'm just going to add a line right here. Almost like a V. There. Okay, and I'm also going to add another line right here. Okay? And then I'm just going to connect all this line together. And then I'm just going to add kind of a little triangle on the top. Okay, and a line on the top here. And then kind of, you know, a little bit of triangle on the tip. And what I'm going to do down here is I'm going to add another triangle on the bottom. We're just going to fill this part, fill this part, fill this part. Okay, and then we're just going to add a little line right here. So, this is what we're going to do on our painting. Okay, so now... Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my paint, maybe a little thinner paint. Let's see how it goes, okay? 
So let's say I'm going to add my post right here, clear, a little bit close to my moon. Okay, so I'm just going to turn my canvas this way because it's so much easier that way for me. Okay, so let's see. Now again, you don't need a thin line here, okay? So, let's say maybe I'm gonna start from here. And I'm gonna stop right there. So, I think this line is too thin for me. So, I'm gonna make it a little bit thicker. So, I take a little more paint and I'm just gonna go over one more time. Okay, I think I like that. All right, so now I'm just gonna add the bottom line first. So I'm just gonna add a line right here. All right, and then remember that V shape. I'm just gonna do that. Okay, I'm going to add another line right here. Now my lamp is really, really big. <laughs> okay, and then I'm just going to connect all this line. And a kind of a little triangle on the top. And another triangle on the tip but first I'm gonna add a little line and then a little triangle on the tip okay now you can create your own design you don't have to follow my design <laughs> okay and then another another triangle on this bottom and I'm just gonna fill that part okay and then I'm also gonna fill this area Okay, so I'm just going to add another line right here. Maybe a little thick one. Okay, now I'm also going to make this bottom area look more better. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a kind of this shape. Okay, and I'm just gonna fill this part. I'm gonna repeat the same thing for one more time. Okay, so something like this. And just a little small one here. Okay, I think I like that. Now I'm going to add some more trees and this time I'm going to use my middle brush and some black paint, okay? So make sure you don't have any water and I'm going to take some black. Now I want to add a nice big tree right here, okay? So I'm just going to add a little line like that. Okay, and now do you remember how we add the leaves for these green trees? I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to start from tip. Now I like to make the tip like very, very uh, kind of, you know, a little bit of a uh, small dot. Uh, kind of a little bit more pointy tree. So I'm just going to start from here. And I'm just going to start dabbing. Like that. And as I'm coming down, I'm going to make my branches a little bit more longer. OK, 
okay and your black paint might turn a little bit of gray because the white in the background the snow is still kind of a little wet I'm gonna come all the way to the bottom of my canvas here I think I like that okay so I'm not gonna go too many times here that's all I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna repeat the same thing for a little small tree on this area on the other side so I'm gonna do the same thing I'm just gonna add a little smaller tree actually and maybe from here and there okay now I'm just gonna do the same thing I'm gonna come all the way down okay now as you can see my this tree is not that pointy so I'm just gonna make that look like it's kind of a little pointy so I'm just gonna go over this part and kind of making that tree a little taller okay so that's all I'm gonna do now I also want to add a little bit of green on this tree so um, I'm not cleaning my brush here I'm just gonna take a little green and I'm just gonna go over my black but you know just a little bit of paint not too much Otherwise, it will be a lot of kind of, you know, messier. Same thing here. Okay, now I'm going to clean my brush. And I'm going to let this black and green dry a little bit before I add some snow so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some yellow on my this area and also a little bit on this moon area so I'm just gonna take a little yellow and I'm just kind of you know adding a little touch of yellow on my moon I'm barely like you know I, I know it's hard to see but I'm barely taking any paint just on a maybe one bristle <laughs> okay so that's all I'm taking okay I'm also adding some kind of streak on this area you can also use your finger if you feel like you apply too much Okay, and then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to also add this color on my this area. Now, uh, I know it's hard to see the yellow when we have darker color in the background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of white and the yellow boot together. And then I'm, ju I'm just going to go over this area. And it's going to make a huge, huge difference. Now, I recommend you to do this part when your black dry. Otherwise, you're just gonna grab black. My black kind of, kind of dry, so I'm not too worried. Okay. All right, now uh, I'm gonna add some snow. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add snow on this post. So I have some snow sitting on this tip here and some snow sitting on this area. Just adding a little kind of dots, steps. Okay, and then same thing. It's sitting a little bit on this area here. Okay, and then I'm just going to add snow on my black trees so um, take a little bit of uh, white and just kind of touching 
on my tree. Okay, like something like that. It's just sitting on my branches. Okay, same thing I'm gonna do with my other tree. Now I can only see this part, so not to worry about how this looks on the other side. Okay, so I think I like this. Now I wanna make uh, this area a little bit more brighter oopsie i grabbed some black though it's okay see that's okay that happens sometimes but clean your brush take the color you want to apply on top and you will you will be fine okay trust me okay i'm really adding a bigger glob of this paint because it's hard to still see that yellow okay all right so now uh i feel like i want to add a little path going on uh, i mean going to this area so what i'm gonna do is uh, i'm using my round brush and uh, maybe a little bit of blue okay and then i'm just gonna create a path so remember we had this kind of line earlier i'm sorry i have this sun coming here but cannot stop that okay so what i'm gonna do is uh, i'm just gonna add a line that looks like this i'm just gonna start from here and adding oopsie it was so dry okay so i'm just gonna take more paint and i'm just gonna go left and right like that you can also use your finger if you feel like it's too dark okay and then a uh, little bit of blue here it's, it's abstract painting okay do what you feel like it's right okay so i think i'm just gonna add a little bit of white Maybe right here. Some more snow sitting on this area. Big chunk of snow. And to make this snow looks like more like a, you know, snow, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the bottom of that area more darker. So either you can use the purple or maybe blue and just go under that area okay so um, maybe I'm gonna add some more snow more white right here okay all right so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add some snow falling snowfall okay and then i'm just gonna use my small brush what's well, just easier To make it look uh, a little bit more better, what I like to do is uh, add my dots kind of all together and leave a little space, like how I did here. Add a little dot, leave space, add a little dot, 
leave a little space now do you see some space here and then there's some dot i like to do it this way instead of adding yellow adding like you know a lot of dots everywhere and with the even space <laughs> i hope that makes sense what i'm saying sometimes you know but um yeah okay i have some snow falling on this seda too why not and some on my tree And I think I am all done here and uh, yeah make sure you clean all of your brushes with some de soap water so that you know it's easier to uh, clean this brush and also use it again if you like but uh, yeah here I'm all done what do you think about this painting I really really like this one okay so have fun guys painting this uh, you can always go back and see some more like see some steps again and uh yeah i'm all done i hope you guys all have fun painting with me and if you have any question just leave it down below i will get back to you and uh, yeah thank you so much guys for your support and thank you so much for painting with me let me know what other uh winter scene you want me to paint because uh this whole season i'm gonna paint all the winter scene and i know you guys talk uh, tell me about the pet portraits so i'm also gonna do that very soon okay uh so yeah thank you so much guys again and i will see you next time okay take care bye